as the world grapples with the consequences of climate change, a long-term shifts in temperatures and weather patterns, which can be natural but now mostly caused by man's activities since the 1800s. Human activities have been the main driver of climate change, primarily due to the burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil and gas, which results at high temperatures, flooding, rising sea levels, desertification and loss of biodiversity, amongst others. In Delta State, indiscriminate bush burning is a habit exhibited every dry season, where some persons set fire to the bush and allow large expanse of the natural vegetation to burn, destroying plant cover and the soil while releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, one of the greenhouse gases that causes climate change. In this special report, Quest Charles Kosipri takes a look at what the Delta State Government, through its orientation and communication bureau, and the Ministry of Environment is doing to correct this habit. The Director General of the State Orientation Bureau, Barrister Fred Latimer, emphasized on the dangers of bush burning and measures being taken to curb the practice amongst residents. The discriminate bush burning has a lot of consequences. And as a matter of fact, it also contributes to these problems of um, um, climate change that we are experiencing. One, it also affects uh, agricultural production in terms of crops because it does damage the soil and to that effect uh, uh, it's not good for uh, for our farmers. And secondly also the burning of bushes the smoke that comes out of the burning bush contains a lot of uh, toxics that are harmful to humans when you inhale them. So, in, in, to a large extent, the government is very concerned about it. And uh, the last conference on climate change that took place in um, Dubai, the SSG represented the government and the governor, and these issues were discussed. And they have given the go ahead to the Bureau of Education to carry out sensitization on, on, in this aspect. Like you rightly said uh, earlier, the Ministry of uh, Environment and this Bureau will team up to make sure that we take this campaign to the grassroots. Because our farmers, those who burn bushes are in the rural communities. Some of them, they are ignorance of this development. They don't know exactly what the toilet is. Some people just bomb bushes for the fun of it. And so, uh, in order for us to curb this problem, we will take the message to the people concerned, to the farmers, to our people in our communities, to our youths. In Delta, for example, the governor, His Excellency, Rahman Rabushari, Francis of Wari is a people-friendly governor. And he wants to handle issues based on proper consultations. And this consultation will also extend now to this uh, headsman in the state. Their activities in the past have not been quite good, but we have achieved remarkable results. You know, by working with the Fulani community, and it's really paying, paying off. If you see that uh, in, in the past administration and this administration, we have uh, political appointees for our houses, and through these house people, we're able to reach quite a number of them. But you see, in a community like that, you see, see some people who are not law abiding and who are just heady. So we still also need to get across to them. This is where the issue of um, state policing comes in. Because with state policing, some of these issues will be best tackled. We will do something. We will do something. By the time we work out our, our campaign strategies with the uh, Ministry of Environment, we also got to evolve 
a law enforcement agency. You know, we also have um, our own unit here that we have raised locally, although they are still working with the police and the army to we're also involved them so that as we move along, we see some of these people who take pleasure in breaching laws and breaking our laws. We'll make sure that um, we, we pick them up and make them to face the consequences of their crime. As a ministry, we started with awareness campaign. We sensitize deltas on the need to stop bush burning. We we, sanit we sensitize them through the print media, the social media, television, and radio, which is the mass media. Advise them that burning of bushes deplace the ozone layer that's, that's, that is causing this climate change we all are experiencing today. And when you notice the recent weather and you see everywhere everybody is shouting the place is hot the place is hot it's been caused by us some of these issues of bush burning is being caused by farmers they want to they want to pass through uh, through the shortcut to clear their farmland but they don't know by so doing they are depleted the ozone layer. They, even the soil is affecting the soil. We collaborate with the community and the cattle uh, breeders association to appeal to them to join us in this awareness campaign that both community people, which are the farmers, and the cattle breeders to stop bush burning. Yeah, no, no, no.